Hello, fabulous Taurus. Welcome to your horoscope for the month of May 2020, looking at life and love. I am your astrologer, Nadia Shaw. Thank you for being here. Well, this is a month that will become increasingly reflective, especially for you. By the time we get to the middle of the month, fully four planets will be retrograde, including your ruling planet Venus. And as your ruling planet turns retrograde, it invites you to not only look at love, which I spoke of quite a bit in the Venus retrograde special horoscope for your sign, but rather to look at yourself, to understand who you are at your core and what you value. But we have other important events coming up and love is gonna be one of the themes now, thanks to a full moon happening early this month. Right around the 7th is when a beautiful full moon will be taking place, speaking in supreme harmony with Neptune. That gives it a dreamy and hopeful quality, a swept off your feet quality at this time with any connections that you may make or that you already have. At the same time though, Mercury is standing across the sky from this full moon and that brings with it an element of negotiation an element of taking into consideration other perspectives. Now, I'll talk about the love understanding of this energy in a bit, but this is partnerships of all kind. And so if you are in a professional alliance or business partnership, this can be a time when either it feels as if someone that you are aligned with helps facilitate a, a near dream come true of some kind. Now, the other way this energy can be understood is to bring a professional alliance to a close, but it looks to be a positive experience all around. As we move later into the month, right around May 22nd is when we will have this month's new moon. This new moon will be speaking in supreme harmony with Saturn. And this is taking place in a part of the sky for you that has to do with finances on the one hand, money you earn and money that you spend. It is also connected to self-esteem and self-worth. Now, Venus is gonna be retrograde at this point in the same part of the sky. And whereas at this point, Venus's energy is going to be kind of, oh, confusing, is going to suggest a lack of clarity. This new moon is one of stability and progress. So wherever it is that you are hoping for a fresh start that helps you to feel like you're moving towards a more positive future, well, this new moon can help you in that regard, whether it is new opportunities to earn, whether it is greater insight into where it is that you are looking to do something brand new that you feel is gonna align you with a stronger future, all of that becomes possible with this new moon. Now, where it comes to matters of love, I am going right back to that full moon early in the month. That is one of the more beautiful energies that is playing out for you over the course of really this year that speaks to matters of love. Now, with so much of the world right now uh, in some form of social isolation or starting to move beyond some kind of social isolation as we are starting this month, just know that with that Venus retrograde season suggesting that all is not clear, there's a heightened emotion with all of us. And given that Venus is your ruling planet, you're certainly feeling that energy. By the time we get halfway through the month, four planets will be retrograde in the sky, bringing that much more a reflective quality. And yet we've got this full moon bringing desire and attraction and sheer magic to the surface for you. So if it is that you are open to meeting someone new, you may very well have a key connection or conversation with someone, it might be at a distance, might be online, but it does seem to be important to you. It restores your faith in love and lets you know that there are options available to you where it comes to matters of love. For those of you who are just getting to know someone, I do really love this full moon. It is going to illuminate your connection with this person, helping you to understand whether or not this is someone that you do want to go forward with, with all the very romantic energy at this time, but also that energy of lack of clarity. I do think that this is gonna be a time when you are feeling very swept up 
with this person. And for those of you who are in an established bond, I do love the energy of this full moon. It does suggest talking things over, communicating more clearly, but also feeling a real heart level connection with this person a friendship level connection with this person and truly feeling that sense of support with you at this time even with the little bit of ups and downs if not more pronounced ups and downs that there are going to be because we're going to be in venus retrograde season still this full moon provides a window of a sense of being understood that can carry you forward regardless of what this larger Venus retrograde season brings. What I love about this month for you, I'm gonna say that new moon that takes place about three weeks into the month, that new moon speaks to a raised sense of self-esteem and self-value, but it also brings with it a stabilizing where it comes to your finances, a sense that you are focused and understand what's worth doing and what isn't, what's worth the money, what isn't, and a sense of appreciation of how it is that you can have faith in yourself and you can start to see that you absolutely can have faith in your future. Well, thank you so much for watching. You can get a video like this every week, plus access to special horoscopes and so much more by signing up to be one of my superstars. Superstars get expanded exclusive video scopes each and every week, unlimited access to special horoscopes like the Venus retrograde special horoscopes that are so active, so important right about now, and so much more, all of this in the superstar space. I look forward to meeting you there. It'll be a great month, enjoy.